Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video unboxing and first look at the TMSL50. This is a programmable Bluetooth scanner, which might be of interest for smaller stores or if you just want to scan more QR codes as well as uh, product codes if you are a seller, uh, perhaps on Amazon or eBay. It sells for about 50 bucks on online. It comes in two colors, white or black. We're going to take a quick look at what the packaging contents are first. So pretty generic box here. We have access on the inside just to the scanner. We'll check out the uh, design in a moment. There's also a cable for charging and providing power. It uses a typical micro USB lead. And finally, there is a quick start guide that tells you how to set things up. It's a 2D uh, barcode scanner, as you can see there. And the instruction manual is printed in full color and uh, shows you how to you know, turn the unit on or off. There's also additional um, you know, barcodes that you can actually start scanning to activate the power status. How to set it up for the first time using a smartphone. It's going to work with any iOS or Android device there. And you know how to start, start to scan the inventory as well as codes that you want to um, you know, use it for. So the instruction manual here is actually quite important because it tells you how to you know set things up and how to add some code. Taking a quick look at the barcode scanner next, the construction quality does seem to be pretty good. It's made out of a polycarbonate frame with soft touch rubber. It's a lot heftier than I originally thought and it seems quite industrial so it's something that should last you for a while. On the inside here there's access to some serial numbers along with the QR codes that you can scan to learn more info and set it up for the first time. There's a bit of a warranty info. On the back here there's access to the micro USB port they use for power. I'm glad to see that this is a standard connector as opposed to some previous barcode scanners we've also reviewed that used a proprietary charging port. On the here there's access to that glass lens as well as a laser for the scanning part and there's also a quick click key if you want to turn that scanner function on or off along with ventilation grills to prevent overheating. So overall it does feel quite nicely put together um, and the fact that it does use Bluetooth to wirelessly communicate with you know a phone uh, as long, along with a computer is quite convenient um, as opposed to a typical nano receiver that you might find uh, on a cheaper, low-cost alternative. So we're going to do a very quick demo next just by plugging this into power and show you guys how you can set it up uh, the first few steps using the actual instruction guide and with a phone. Taking a quick look at the TL50 plugged into the wall, you can see there's an LED light which will illuminate to tell you the power and the charging status. It takes about four hours to completely charge up. One of the benefits of this model is it also works fine with displays directly. So you can scan codes printed on a you know, tablet screen or on a cell phone screen, it's also IP42 uh, certified. So it is a bit, you know, splash and dust proof, but not fully waterproof. It's also easy to disinfect and to wash off. So it's quite durable and works with postal codes as well. Um, otherwise, again, the battery here is quite good. It's going to last you for a few weeks after you charge it up. Depends on, of course, how much time they use it after, you know, charging the battery up. And uh, in terms of turning the unit on, we can also uh, do a quick demo next just with, you know, the printed instruction manual here. Uh, the Bluetooth version on here is using Bluetooth 2.1, so it's a rather early version of, uh, you know, Bluetooth. It's not 4.0, it's not 4.1, so it's going to drain battery a bit more than, you know, 4.1, which is a bit more efficient, but so all in all, really not too bad. So here we have, you know, the instruction guide that tells us to power. So as you can see there, when we tapped on that, it automatically powered itself off. And if you want to turn it on again, just tap on the trigger key for a few seconds longer and there is a beeping sensor on there that's going to indicate that the power is now, is now on again. So it also has a pretty interesting kind of field of view. You can see that it illuminates using this a light to create a uh, a, a larger glow area if you are in a darker environment um, as opposed to a typical kind of laser scanner that has just a one line going across vertically or horizontally. So anyways guys this has been a quick video first look at the Bluetooth uh, you know TS TMS L50 uh, barcode scanner by TEMI and you can check out more details about this in our official written review but for now this has been our video first look and unboxing. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.